evil? Of course we're evil! Dogar and Kizan would never reward a less than hideously evil species with their baleful grace. Why, we are the very definition of evil! <laughs> Everything about us, within and without, reeks of heinous deeds, deceit, and treachery. Even our house pets are rather evil. Hmm. We are all evil. We all behave in a mutually agreed upon fashion of murder. Torture, deceit, and so forth. Our uniform acceptance of this heinous credo creates an orderly and cooperative society which hardly seems evil. Evil is doing things that make others hurt or fear. We all do that, of course. But since we all do such things, as sanctioned by our culture, it would be bad to do otherwise, which means, uh, uh, blasphemer! Do not play with words. You anger both Dogar and Kazan. Now you must die! I see that you have come to your senses and are now prepared to engage in the Festival of a Thousand Screams. Although your initial rejection of the honor was dismaying, we realize that it may have been a shock to be so privileged. <laughs> Pinch yourself, human. You are not dreaming. Dogar has winked, and Kazon has spasmed in condescending approval. Today, human, is your lucky day. Excellent! We enjoy the process of rending life so much more when the life giver is willing. Come now in peace and give that which makes you live. I see that you have come to your senses and are now prepared to engage in the Festival of a Thousand Screams. Although your initial rejection of the honor was dismaying, we realize that it may have been a shock to be so privileged. <laughs> Pinch yourself, human. You are not dreaming. Dogar has winked, and Kazon has spasmed in condescending approval. Today, human, is your lucky day. Silly Earthling. The Orquan, our masters, would be displeased if they were aware of your transgressions. By violating your oath of fealty to the Orquan, we are obligated to take your lives as payment. A process that will incidentally please both myself and, more importantly, the arch deific duo. You, didn't I? We have monitored your visit to this world with great interest. Your plans for trickery are pitiful, and make Dogar and Kazan clack their mandibles against one another and snicker with amusement. <laughs> and so now, squishy human, I wonder what sort of noise you will make when I pull off your arms. A high and wailing scream? Or a low moan of ultimate suffering? Though such information is normally holy and secret, I find I am unable to contain myself. Know this fact. You are human, weak, and alone in this universe, with no gods to protect you. I know this because the only true gods are our own ill-wrath deities, Dogar and Kazan. Dogar is the killer in a black cloak, 
the great destroyer, the bloody clawed murderer, the dark beast with a thousand young. Kazon, on the other claw, is the great deceiver, the malevolent evil in the darkness, the unstoppable monster who has no pity, the hungry lurker in the night. These are our gods, the only gods. How do we know, you ask? Because Dogar and Kazan told us so. Not so fast, tender human. <laughs> you must first pay homage to the universal deities Dogar and Kazan. The payment is simple and within your means. You will pay with your lives. What? Can I believe my sensory cluster? I sense humans. I dance with joy for our good fortune. The human dies with such agony that it cannot help but please Dogar and Kazan. You amuse us with your nonsensical ramblings. We look forward to the careful exploration of your structure. <laughs> First, we will peel back the curious follicle infested outer layer, followed by the greasy blankets of yellow lard. Such a confusing hodgepodge of parts can entertain for hours. <laughs> Human. Prepare yourself for the festivities. Ha! Beauty, human. You make me chitter with amusement. By the will of the mighty Dogar and Kazan, I am here to make you die, die, die! What is it? Mmm, human. It has been so long since I have seen a human die. We will bet on how many parts we can remove before it stops making noise. <laughs> now, you spaceship captain, begin the expedient transfer of all human crew so that we may waste no time. It is the good will of Dogar and Kazan that brings the father human to us, were it not for the Dark Lords of Deception's mighty directive. We would not have the good fortune to intercept you for a festive limb rigging. Your fight for life, though futile, serves the noble purpose and appeases our honored deities. You have earned the right to hold your head high. Ah, human. You join us in the celebration of Dogar and Kazan. We grow excited. The human makes excellent ceremony. When we peel it, urgent bleating comes from the noisemaker. Then, the green eye of Dogar observes it writhe upon the altar, and the cilia of Kazan swell, indicating their readiness for the juices. <laughs> it squirms with vigor, until we pop the crunchy noise maker. Rejoice! The duo of deception shall receive their supplication. In correctness, we come from the eye of Dogar. Such a quasar exists nowhere near this location. Look in the heavens at location 022.9 by 366.6 and gaze into the depths of its all-seeing eye if you dare. Only by the sparing caress of Kazan's anointed Zilia will you survive such an act. Else you will bless the altar of consumption with your ceremonial blood.